Hey everyone, Sean Tierney here from theautomationschool.com and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to find, use, and update Integrated Architecture Builder, which is also known as IAB. The first step is to head to ab.com and today you don't want to select product configuration, but you want to search. And you don't want to search on Integrated Architecture Builder, you actually want to search on Product Selection Toolbox. Now once the results come in, Select Product Selection and Configuration, and from this page, scroll down and select Download the Toolbox. Now this download will take a while depending on your internet speed. After it finishes downloading, run or open the file, and if you're prompted by User Account Control, click on Yes. Now click on Install to install the prerequisites. Then step through the wizard accepting the license agreement, choosing your locale, language, providing a username and company, and choosing your install directory. After which you'll want to choose which programs you actually want to install from the toolbox. In my case, I'm going to unselect everything except for IAB, Proposal Works, the standard product library, and user defined devices. When you're done, Click on Next and Install and the installation of your selected products will begin. Once IAB is installed, go ahead and launch it. Now while there are several wizards that you can use to start a new project, in this example I'm just going to go up to File and select New to create a new workspace. Then I'm just going to choose a blank workspace and I'm going to click on OK and then my new workspace opens. Here I'll choose Action and add new hardware. Now here you'll see a list of all the hardware that's available, including Control Logix, Compact Logix, Micros, Slick 500, and PLC5 as well as Distributed I.O. In this example I'm going to select Control Logix and then a chassis size of 17. Now that I have my empty chassis I can choose items to add to it from the below hardware list. Now even though I downloaded and installed IEB in early July of 2018, many of the newest products are not showing up in the hardware list. So to get support for those newer products, I'm going to close IEB and run Rockwell's current updater, which will find any updates for the products in the toolbox that I have installed. And it will also allow me to choose which ones I want to update right now. Now if you found this video helpful, please give me a like and a thumbs up. And if you know anyone who would like to learn how to program and troubleshoot the Control Logix, the Panel View Plus, View SE and more, please ask them to check out my training courses over at theautomationschool.com. And until next time, peace.